What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a very special edition of Guys Talk About the NBA. We're the Fung Brothers. We've got Nelson from Hoopin' Life. What to do, y'all? Shot Town representative Danny Wynn. What up, everybody? It's your boy Danny. Hey, all right, everybody. So, as you know, we talk a lot about the NBA, and there's about 15 to 16 more games in the NBA season. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the road to the playoffs. All right, real quick, before we get into the video, it's important to show you the standings currently for the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference. And there could be some movement, yeah, some shifting. Yeah, especially yeah, yeah, yeah. in the West, oh. four to nine, yeah. Mm. There is plenty of news. Let's, Let's go. go. What's the biggest, most relevant piece of news that we gotta cover? I would say towards the end of the season, obviously, Zaza Pachulia wrecking Katie's leg oh, in a goofy oh, accident. Man. Katie's not out for the whole season. No. He'll probably be back for the playoffs, yeah, right? Yeah, it's probably like four weeks or so. But, but would he be the same though? That's the question. The question oh. is, will he be the same and will the Warriors be the same? Blame Zaza. I mean, to be honest, I think Steph is definitely in a funk. Clay's in a funk. Katie's a guy who could create shots for others too, you know? But the Warriors were so good even before KD. How come they seem like they're still in a funk? <laughs> I feel like they're missing Andrew Bogut in a tremendous amount because he was an incredible screener. You know, a lot of people who don't know basketball, you know, can't see that. Clay and Steph loves to come off that curl, you know, loves to come off that screen for yeah. shots. So you're saying Zaza setting the screens and he's not as good. And it probably doesn't help that everybody's probably afraid of getting hurt by Zaza. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Now he has a history of hurting his teammates. Hey, Zaza, you gotta stay over there. Hey, oh. Don't set me the screen, Zaza! <laughs> don't set You know what? I think uh, it definitely made the NBA season more interesting. Yeah. Because obviously, if you take a look at the injuries, the injury bug has bitten the Spurs. LaMarcus Aldridge, out indefinitely. He got an irregular heartbeat, you know. I mean, that's a big deal. I, I hope he gets better. That's scary, man. Yeah, yeah that's, that sounds crazy, yeah. so I hope he gets better. But uh, Kawhi also is on concussion watch. Yeah. Well, Pops are gonna rest him to, you know, for his safety. Well, I think Kawhi's gonna recover nicely from his injury. Can we talk about all the one-on-one -on -one moves he developed in the offseason? Oh, no. people, people used to say that Kawhi got no moves. He's no. one-dimensional. Now, now he got too many moves. He I can think. shoot too, he can shoot the boss. All right, real quick, you guys. Dirk hit his 30,000 point mark. Shout I out believe, to Dirk. I believe Dirk is the sixth leading scorer in NBA history now. Sick. Where do you think this puts Dirk at the end of his career on the top greatest players list? I think he's in top 20. I would say like top 25. I'm not saying he's terrible, but at times, it could be a defensive liability yeah, throughout his is. career. There's been a lot of people over the years who entered the league that people were like, oh, he's the next Dirk. Oh, Christoph Christoph Porzingis. I think Porzingis is the closest. Chris Dirk, yeah, Kristaps age already a better shooter than Kristaps, yeah. though. But Kristaps, a much better defender. Yeah, yeah. He has hey, a better overall game. Does he have the potential to be better than Dirk at the end of his career? I, I think so, yes. Personally, yes. Potential, but he got to be in a way better system. For sure, yes. I think he will be. I'll tell you this. If he stays on a team with Melo, he'll yeah. never even get close. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you got Boogie. Going to the New Orleans Pelicans, playing with his old Kentucky teammate, AD, but they haven't been winning. What needs to happen? I think they need a stronger supporting cast because right now it's just Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins. Like on paper, it looks really good. Like those two are beasts. On an individual basis, that might be the strongest front court in NBA history. Yeah. <gasps> oh, like just on a purely stats, yeah, I'm not yeah. saying chemistry wise. Yeah, yeah. Or, right. like, like Danny said, they need a better supporting cast, especially on the wings. I've seen this one meme where it says, I've seen better wings at Applebee's than I see in the Pelicans. Oh! 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 Shout out to Drew Holiday though. Uh, he came back from injury and actually yeah. had put together some pretty yeah. good games yeah. this season. All right, moving on. You know, we got to talk about the boy from Brooklyn, Jalen. He is yeah. back. <laughs> he is back. They have shown the hat. Oh man, I got, show got the Nets. I got a Brooklyn and, Nets hat on. And Jimmy Lynn missed about 45 games. He's hitting threes. His three point percentage is up. They got a lot of work to do, but at least Jeremy's back and they run much better with him. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm not going to lie, man, in terms of just a functional. <laughs> the team be... just sucks, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Jeremy. The... Shout out to the Nets. What's going on with the Cavs? Because the Cavs, Kinda. Andrew Bogut, they signed Andrew Bogut. Right over Larry Sanders. Andrew Bogut, first 50 seconds, breaks his leg. <laughs> yeah, first Man, that's crazy, oh. that's to crazy. Today, they just signed Larry Sanders. Uh -huh. I don't think he makes that much of a difference, honestly, because like their team already is so stacked. They I'll tell you this though, they need yeah. to stop putting Tristan Thompson on James Harden. Oh my God, he took him <laughs> to preschool, kindergarten, <laughs> middle school, <laughs> high school, college. He hey. took him, he gave him a whole hey, hey, education. Hey, hey, he did it for Chloe too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe connect. Uh, but what, what's going on with the Cavs, guys? They're, they're struggling. I think they're gonna step it up for playoffs. I have no doubt about that. They have to be. You I have no doubt. Season sure. strong. You know, you gotta have good momentum heading into the playoffs. I, I felt like this year, Kyrie, he really cemented himself he got the best handles in Ooh, NBA definitely. history. 
Definitely. All right, you guys, man, we, there are so many stories we could go on and on, but we got to get to the awards. Mother. Coach of the year? In my opinion, it comes down to either Mike D'Antoni of the Houston Rockets or Scott Brooks of the Washington Wizards. I'm going with I'm Scott going, Brooks. I'm going with D'Antoni. Scott Brooks, because why? Last year, they weren't even a playoff team. Now that he came there, they're like, what, number three? No, I, I said you could say the same for Houston Rockets. So they went, they went from, from eight to three. Eight to three, but the Wizards went from like 12 to three. Yeah, that's a big or 10 jump. to three, that's I forgot. I'm gonna go also with Scott Brooks. Think that right. Mike D'Antoni moved James Harden to point guard. That alone, look no. what they made okay, James Harden. That's true, that's true. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Wall, John Wall actually a super low-key MVP candidate too. He is. Nobody he is. even he got him yeah, yeah. in well, the discussion. He's but... super nice this year, man. All right, most improved player. Who are the nominees? I'll simplify for you guys. There's a lot of couple people in the discussion. It boils down to Harrison Barnes, Isaiah Thomas, and the person that most people think is gonna win, Giannis Antetokounmpo. As much as I want Giannis to win it, I think they're gonna give it to Harrison Barnes. I think Giannis is gonna win it because they're gonna make the playoffs probably. And the Mavs are not. I'm going with Giannis also because, man, he's just a highlight machine too. Look at his dunks. Just a... They said Giannis is gonna be the first ever player to be in the top 20 for every stat category. As of right now, he's only 22. Yeah, he's still That's young. That's true, he's 22. Six man of the year. Lou Will's always in the discussion. Jamal Crawford's always in the discussion. You know who they actually have in the discussion this year that's not normally in there? You? Yeah. <laughs> Me, aka Eric Gordon, and Zach Randolph. Mm. Oh, Zach Randolph, yeah. Because yeah. Zebo, normally a starter. Now he's in the twilight yeah, of his yeah. career coming off the bench with. All right, six man vote. Who do you got? No, Eric Memphis. Gordon was leading the league in three pointers made off the bench, yeah. which is like unheard yeah. of and, and excellent. And if they're gonna be a third seed, that yeah, means that he's too. a huge part of that. He's a huge yeah, contributor. Yeah, yeah. Like, defensive player of the year, guys, Kawhi, always in the discussion. Obviously. He won, well, he won the last two. Rudy Gobert. Oh, Rudy Gobert. Gobert. The Gobert Report. Rudy Gobert or Draymond. Let's just say it comes down to those two. Man, if Draymond starts kicking everybody, I'm gonna go with Draymond. <laughs> if he's just... Draymond wanted to play defense so bad, he was actually doing martial arts defense. Yeah. Gobert, I'm going Gobert, with Gobert, man. Gobert. He's leading the league in blocks. And There's a stat uh, that people don't really look at. It's the, like shots, shots. shots altered, I think. Shots altered, yes. Yeah. Shots altered. Well, you forces alter. someone to take a tough shot. You know one thing I like about Rudy Gobert, which I think he deserves it. He does not care about getting dunked on. Hey, the year, guys, of the year. This, this is a difficult one this year because there's there's really not many standout rookies except Joel Embiid, who really have been a rookie for three years. <laughs> <laughs> Chained for three years, man. It's not fair. And then he, <laughs> and then he played like 30 good games, really good, average 20 and eight. Uh, wowed everybody with his moves, with limited minutes, but then he got hurt again. Who else was in there? Malcolm Brogdon, who dunked on both. Malcolm Harry Brogdon, Brogdon, I would say, is bus. my pick. If Joel Embiid doesn't win it, Ma Malcolm Brogdon. And okay. they said, actually, on the same team as Joel Embiid, Dario Saric. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. putting up numbers. MVP. MVP. Who is the MVP, guys? So you got Russell Westbrook. James Harden. James Harden, Kawhi Leonard. LeBron's always in the conversation. And then, probably IT. far away, but still on the list is IT. I really gotta go with Russell Westbrook, man. He, the numbers he's putting up this year is ridiculous. Okay. He's averaging a triple-double. Okay. He scored like, what, 58 points the last game? Or, I, and like, I agree that the hype is with Russell. And it has they been lost, this whole they season. Lost, they did lose, they did lose, but I'm looking at it like this. Who does he have around him? No, nobody. Okay. No. no, he got nobody. James Harden, he has like all these people around him. Kawhi, he's, he's around the Spurs. Right. Like, the whole, who else could dance like Westbrook? <laughs> okay. All right, I would say, but who else is going to drop their career high and lose? I'm just saying that to me that says a lot, and I've always been yep. critical of Russell, you know, and and I do think that obviously uh, historically the MVP doesn't go to anybody lower than a third seed. I got Kawhi Leonard all the way. He won Defensive Player of the Year the last two years. The Spurs are a second seed, could be a number one seed. I'm gonna have to say Kawhi too, because it's not always about the stats, you know, given the time. I'm going with James Harden. Literally, his usage rate. True. It's, it's nuts. Like, it's nuts. Yeah, then again, he doesn't have an all-star on his team either. First of all, the hype is with James Harden. I think if uh, the fans vote between Kawhi or James Harden, I think it's going to go to James Harden. So I'm not mad if Harden wins it. it. Okay. Yeah. But, but his defense is... Yeah, my so defense we're going on whack. All right, you guys, we got a real shout-out. DeRozan, when I shoot it, it goes in. To me, this is, this is my piece about DeRozan. He signs this huge contract in the offseason. Yep. A lot of people there go, I don't know, it's kind of one-dimensional, semi-inefficient score. Highlights though, he steps up his game. Officially, Ooh. his team now. Yeah. yeah. For back in the day, you go. It was Kyle Lowry. It was Kyle Lowry. You yeah, want him yeah, to take yeah, the yeah, shot in the yeah. clutch. Now you want DeRozan. I, I, we don't talk about the Toronto Raptors too much. Is that even though they're good, no one ever really believes that they're contenders yeah. for the no. championship. One thing I want to talk about the Blazers. We haven't mentioned Dame or CJ McCollum. People Dame. that we mentioned a lot yeah. last season. Now, what happened? Because they still got some highlights this year. I don't know. I think they need to make changes for next year. Dame, I'm not gonna lie, man. I love Dame. Don't drop 
no mixtape. Yeah, I, I think I think it hurt. I think him <laughs> working on his yeah, album yeah, this focus summer. Focus too much on his album, man. I gotta shout out two players. One, Nikola Jokic. Jokic. And then there's this guy that is actually doing really good on the Blazers right now. Yosef Nurkic. Yosef Nurkic. Yosef Nurkic. He had a 28 and 20 game. With six blocks. You guys, predictions in the Eastern Conference. To me, I don't know, you know, because I don't follow this team too much, but I know that a lot of people have said the Hawks are somebody to watch out for. Mm, because they, you know, they, they have better they have a good presence. Yeah, they have yeah, better yeah. presence. Who do you guys think in the East has a chance to compete with the Cavs? Depends on the Raptors, if they gel. I think they have a shot because they always give the Cavs problems yeah. for whatever reason. And uh, if you look at, you know, Wizards and Celtics, those are the other two. I, I believe in the Celtics more I think than the Boston, Wizards. yeah, I would go Boston. Because I think Celtics, they've been playing together longer, okay? They came up last year. I think this is Wizards. Wizards are the Celtics of last year. Go with Boston. Yeah, I'm going with Boston too. Go with Boston. Isaiah Thomas. I want the Wizards to surprise us all. I'm with the Wizards. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine with that too. Yeah. And shout out to IT yeah. continues huh. to shock the world. Yeah. Cause I think everybody is like, can he keep it up? Can he yeah. keep it up? I just like he's Avery keeping Bradley, it up, man. man. Avery Bradley is clamping everybody. Yes. He locked put down. Lockdown lock Kyrie. Yeah. Kyrie tried to throw five million moves on him, and he went nowhere. Hey, bro, we gotta talk about the Bulls real quick. Bulls, what what yeah. happened to the Bulls? What a mess, man. Yeah. There's, there's no chemistry. You right from Chicago, man? man. Right now. They the beginning, the rose, at, the, hey, at the beginning of the season, rose. at the beginning of the season, when they when they got Rondo and Dwayne Wade, they was hitting all those threes. Man, I knew it wasn't gonna work though. They had one yeah, rock. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. Nah, nah, nah. It's not looking too good right now. I hope they make the playoffs, but I don't think they can make that much noise. They might need to break up that super team that is the Knicks too. By the way. D Rose, yeah, I think we could be the best team oh, in the yeah, yeah. A lot of highlights. On paper, yeah. they could. No, I don't even think on paper, man. I don't trust. I don't trust yeah. Melo on paper. All right, let's go to the West. Go to the West. Western Conference. Man. This is the most exciting. Yeah. I think we have to say. All right, so pretty much San Antonio and Golden State, they can flip for a one and two seed, but it's pretty much locked in. Houston is pretty much locked in at a three. Uh, really, you got to talk about fourth to ninth. Uh, OKC going through some problems. Say, I think OKC could end up as low as the seventh. You like rocket surging? Ro rocket surging. They're probably gonna surprise people, but I think I'm one. I'm gonna be bold with this, man. I want the Spurs coming out of the West, man. I I'm saying it. it right now. All signs pointing to the Spurs, essentially. Spurs, yeah. Cavs final. I think it's gonna be Golden State, but I would like the Spurs to make it. You always yeah. gotta give props to the yeah, Spurs, yeah. man. They're just yeah. a Every phenomenal year. system, yeah. coach, team. Everybody say one player or one player, one player that had a lot of shout uh, highlights this season. I'll go first. Shabazz Muhammad has been dropping left-handed hammers on people uh -huh. has he? the whole season. Derek Jones. All right, so he kind of is whacking the dunk contest, right? Doesn't show up. But Just then, <laughs> in the regular season, after the dunk <laughs> contest, an all-star break, he's yamming, yamming. Shout out Deion Waiters, man. No, oh! nobody, nobody really expected hey, much from him, but like, man, yo, he's been yo, killing Yo, me. is he in the clutch? Like almost like a Kobe type player. Like, yes, he year. wears Kobe's man. Yeah, he wears Dion Waiters in the clutch for MVP. That D League player that just got picked up on a 10 day contract is like Yogi Ferrell. Oh, that Yogi Ferrell. Yogi Ferrell. He came out of nowhere, signed a 10 day contract, dropped like 30 some points like in the first like 10 games or whatever. Yeah. And he's like in the starting lineup now. Seth Curry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Seth Curry. Seth Curry, man. Curry, man. <laughs> he's the real Thank Curry this year. Seth. Curry out there kind of looking like CJ McCollum. I was just going to say that. Yeah. Is he the, the CJ McCollum he, of the The way he dribbles and even the way he shoots yeah, is kind of like yeah. CJ. So, I was just going to say that. So he, I think he's like, a, I guess, a poor man CJ. All right, you guys, man. Thank you so much for watching that episode of Guys Talk About the NBA Road uh -huh. to the Playoffs Edition. Make sure, number one, in the comment section below, make sure you let us know who you think is surging right now, who you think is going down, and who you think is going to win for the awards. Number two, make sure you shout out an unsung player this year. And number three, make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Check out Hoopin' Live down below. Check out Danny and everybody. Thank you so much. We love the NBA. And until next time, we out. Peace. Hey. Talk about NBA performance sneakers. Mm -hmm. You got a favorite one from this year? Oh, I just got the Kyrie, the Kyrie threes actually. Did you get the white ones with the clear sole? Oh, no, I got the black one. Okay. Black one. My go-to sneaker right now has got to be the Nike PG ones, man. The Nike PG ones, overall, everything is good on it. Um, coming in strong in second would be crazy explosives, as ugly as it may be. Mm -hmm. It's a phenomenal performance shoe. Uh, this whole season, I've been hope hooping in uh, the Jordan 31s. And the only thing is the traction was a little bit iffy. One shoe that I've been wearing around the house a lot are these all white Crocs. These are really good Ooh, for your back when you're standing dude, around on hardwood floors. Those are limited I mean, edition, dude. Right, you can see that's them. A, that's a PE. This is, this is the off-white colorway. AF oh, Suns, dude. Traction, traction is cool, non-slip. Yeah, non <laughs> Cushions, 10 out of 10. If you guys want to check out more basketball or NBA type videos, make sure to check out my channel, Hoopin' Life. Links will be in the description box down below. Uh, shout out to the Fun Bros. Always a pleasure being here with you guys.
All right, here with the Fun Brothers and the Nelson Chan, man. I want to say I had a good time with y'all talking about basketball. We had a good NBA talk. Yep. If y'all want to follow me on IG, the real Danny Nguyen. The real one. The real one. There's a lot the of fake ones man, out yeah, there. Yeah, Make sure yeah, you follow yeah, the yeah. real one. Aren't you guys, man? Shout out to everybody out there who loves the NBA. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.